today I'm going to go through one of my jewelry bins. I'm a reseller on Posh and eBay. And I have A through Z jewelry. I store it like this. And we're going to be going through it together. I'm going to try to do one shoe box bin a day. And all this stuff is listed in my Poshmark store, MC Wear for you. Right now I'm having a sale, buy one, get one free. These are little reindeer, Avon earrings, vintage, 90s, and that is what they look like. These, I am told they are Kate Spade. Um, Kate Spade either used to not um, write Kate Spade on them or they don't now and they did, something of the sort, but I am told that these are their gumdrop, her, her gumdrop earrings pair in silver and a pair in gold. They do not say Kate Spade, but when you do run them through Google Imaging, it does pick up as Kate Spade. They feel they feel well made, so I'm gonna say yes, they're Kate Spade. And they are also buy one get one free on my store. These are very, very cute. These are vintage. Most everything I sell is vintage. Little green drop oval earrings. Most of it's just costume, not branded, but this is what it looks like. Very, very cute. Alrighty, these are natural pearls and beaded faux pearls. They're very cold to touch, yellow and white. Fish hook closure, that's what those look like. These are itty bitty little chubby white metal hoops. Great for a second ear, and that is what those look like. These are gorgeous. Let me just put them there for a moment. They're silver, very, very sparkly with purple. Gorgeous, gorgeous earrings. Can you see the purple? I'm not even sure. Very rich purple. There we go. No stones missing. Fish hook. Fish hook backings. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Teardrop. And they are about three inches. All right. These are vintage as well. Very artsy. Art to wear. There's the clasp. Gorgeous colors. Just gorgeous. Beautiful statement pieces are supposed to be coming back in style for 2024. So that is a necklace. Next are some gold hoops. And they're oval hoops. So these are also 90s. This is very popular in the 90s. And what I really like about vintage jewelry is it didn't tend to tarnish the way it does now with fast fashion. So those are about one and a half inches. Again, all of these things can be found in my Poshmark store, MC Wear For You, and I am having a buy one, get one free offer. Beautiful little crystal hearts, heart studs. Okay. Little starfishes, they're more of a bronzy color. Let's see if they have any markings. They do not, they are gold. Gold starfish, fish hooks. I don't know if anybody remembers these little clasps. These were also very popular in the 80s and 90s. And these are just kind of boho beaded. A red, purple, and beige bead. Boho. Little golden, little rope, not rope, but, oh, I don't know. It looks like three hoops in one. And these are about half inch, half inch gold hoops. That's what those look like. And then you have situations like this. These are cinnabar, very, very vintage. And the other one must have fallen off in the bin. So when I get to the end, I will need to replace it. These are about a half inch hand carved cinnabar. Very, very old. These are very vintagey. 
I do not know if they say anything on them. Oh, let's see, ring light there. It's not really helpful. It's just glaring from the ring ring light. They look like they say something, but I'm not 100% sure. Most of all my jewelry is $25 um, and under. And again, it's buy one, get one. And here we go again. That is a red iridescent stone and a purple orb-like stone. And they do not say anything. One, two, about two inches. Very well made. Look at that fish hook. Whew. That's not falling off your ear. And again, the other one would be at the bottom of this box. Vintage 80s. Those scream Olivia Newton-John to me. One inch green and amyl, green and white and amyl. Um, 80s for sure. All right. Next we have... Oh, these are so pretty. Let's see here. Beautiful, beautiful little rhinestones, blue, orange, and maybe some peridot and silver fish hooks. Again, maybe an inch and a half to two inches. <clears throat> stud, honeycomb, they look like little honeycombs. Golden studs, maybe a half an inch. Kind of a creamy color bobble. Earrings, probably 90s. Fish hooks. Ooh, there we go again. A little silver star. And then the other one is in the box. So we will be looking for those. Little demure pearls. It looks like tiny, tiny little black rhinestones or diamond chips right there. And little faux pearls. And they're about an inch, inch long. These I was very tempted to keep. I just love them. Two-tone, silver and gold, mix and match. And silver and gold jewelry worn together actually is a trend for 2024. Very pretty. And they do have a little stamp on them, which I do not know what this stamp means. If anybody does, please comment below. Oh, goodness, it's hard to even see. I have no idea. Um, yes, I can't. I do not know. But they feel substantial. They kind of look like they may be the Chico's brand. So they may be Chico's. I don't know. Okay. Next are these. These reminded me of maybe from India with the little charms there. I love, love that style drum key or something. I'm not sure of how to say it correctly, but oh, they're so pretty. Very vintage-y. And a lot of them that I have do not have the matching backs. Um, I mean, nobody sees that, so it's really not a big deal, but just heads up on that. Okay. These lovely pair. No. All right. Tiny, tiny little moon half hoops. They look like maybe a quarter of an inch little gold half hoops and I feel like these would be super if you have uh, multiple piercings in your ears these would be very very cute up the ear all right let's do a bag these are necklaces I believe yes just very 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 cute handmade I would say um, seed beads must have took forever to make those Ooh, it has a hang tag Oh, no, um, NC and Co. So New York and Company. Wow, so I'm going to say 90s. Those were probably sold in the 90s. Lovely condition, very long, standard 18 inch. Beautiful, like a violet rose with silver beads. So what else do we got here, necklace wise, or maybe bracelet? Ooh, bracelet. Try this on for you. Love, love. Statement bracelet all the way around, super stretchy. I have a seven inch wrist, so this would accommodate maybe a nine inch or seven inch or six inch because it is stretchy. Well made, has some weight to it for sure. Okay, and we have a 
gorgeous mirrored. Oh gosh, that's gorgeous. Look at the way that sparkles. And that's a necklace. It has weight. So I'm going to say these are glass. They're very cold to touch. And I mean, you could just hear, oh my goodness, look at that dancing. Dazzling and dancing. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Again, it looks like the standard 18 inch adjustable. No hang tag, but look at that beauty. It's cold. Gorgeous. Again. Um, my Poshmark closet, MC there for you. Fine and Fabulous is the name. Cute little crystal stud earrings. Beautiful, beautiful. Again, perfect for your second or third hole. All right, let's continue here. These are, oh, these feel really cold to touch too. I'm gonna say these are glass as well. And it looks like they do say 925 on them right there. So these are sterling with glass beads, maybe peridot, I don't know. Very well made, very well made. Beautiful. Okay, let's grab a bigger piece here. And this is a boho wooden piece. Um, these barrel clasps were very popular in the 70s, so this could be 70s. I don't think they even use these barrel clasps anymore, but I could be wrong. Very cool to touch, but it does have a few missing um, mosaic pieces, and these are real shell mosaic, but it does look like a couple are missing. Um, obviously not, not going to be noticeable when you're wearing, but worthy of noting. The other one seems to have all its pieces. Yes, it does. And then these are just wood. And again, it looks like the standard, ooh, let's see, would that be 18? Maybe more like 20. Okay, here's another seed bead, and these are silver. And here's the other one, I found it. Seed bead double teardrop, boho, fish hook, silver. And we've got another boho piece. Very lightweight, wooden, beachy. Okay, and I got some clip-ons here, very vintage clip-ons, mm, no markings, oh no, there is a mark, nope, those aren't markings, those are engravings, so I don't know, maybe, would you say 70s, anybody who knows more about jewelry, because I do not, however, I do have some jewelry books that I've been going through. These enamel, I'm gonna say 80s again, gold and black, beautiful. I don't think any markings, no, I don't think so. But one inch. More enamel, half hoops, um, gold and like a maroon red. And do they have any markings? No, they don't. And they're about a, maybe a half inch, three quarters of an inch. I've got some gunmetal, one and a half inch hoops. Gunmetal, cold. I've got these, a little North Carolina. I am in North Carolina. Don't know if I said that already. North Carolina State earrings. I've got some chubby. Hammered gold tone earrings. They are gorgeous. They really just do not make them the way they used to. They're just beautiful. And um, no, tar no tarnish whatsoever. Unlike today's jewelry. I always try to go for vintage. These beauties, the magnet did not stick to them. So I do not know if they are sterling or how old they are. Um, I don't see any marks on them. They do have some weight of them. They are studs. They're an inch and a circle. Cold to touch. Okay. And what do we got here? We got an assortment. And sometimes I'll put this on for one listing. So the buy one, get one free would be, this would be considered one. And I think this is actually currently up for like $15 for all of them. And then you'd have to pick something else for free. So you would get one, two, three pieces plus another one, four. And that's just artisan glass heart, leather rope, a wrap bracelet, 
Those stones are cold. And this says, oh, what does that say? Mm, A R O maybe. Um, you wear. I think they wear these either as a wrap, either a wrap bracelet or as a necklace. Try not to take too much time. This is getting to be a long video. And another necklace or bracelet. So this is silver leather rope. I'm gonna say it's a bracelet, but. No, I think it is a necklace. Unless you made it into an ankle anklet. I mean, it looks brand new. Just beautiful. Oops. Okay, so that's a three-piece set. I'll handle with that in a bit. All right, we're getting down here. Okay, so these beautiful. Um, I'm not sure what this is, but it feels like it looks like druzy. I mean, it's cold to touch gold citrine I think they call that color and they are about two inches in length shine like crazy beautiful piece these are I think my currently my most expensive pair that I have listed because um, these are retired and they are from HSN uh, J King um, what is the brand J King is the brand and he does turquoise mining, but I think this blue stone is escaping me, but I think it begins with an L. Those are brand new, never worn. I've got these clip-on pieces of these gorgeous lions, which are amazing. So these are clip-ons, about two inches in length. How cool are those? Very artisan. Lightweight, not heavy, but heavy or not. Lightweight, not heavy, where they're not going to be hanging your ear off, hanging, you know, making your ear drag off. So they're lightweight. They feel like they're brass. They're just gorgeous. Gorgeous artisan piece. And what do we got here? We got pearls, rice pearls, authentic rice pearls, gold tone, hanger, maybe an inch and a half in length. Beautiful. Oops, there we go. Oops. The backing was bent, not the not the post part. Sorry about that. Right, let me sit down to finish up the rest. Alrighty. I hope you can still hear me. These are little silver stars. Very simple, lightweight. Not much to say about them. Okay, these are shell. Alpalone, I think they call it, or no, no, mother of pearl, excuse me. Bright orange and yellow mother of pearl, beachy. Oh, let's see, maybe an inch, this part, and then of course, whatever the fish hook is. Okay. These are dangly three tricolor green. So it's like a darker green, a lighter green, and a very limey light green. So if you like green, you will like these with fish hooks. No markings. I'm going to say they're green disc earrings. What else? Vintage statement earrings. Maybe a half an inch. Um, they look like they would be the Monet brand, which Monet brand never tarnishes. Avon never tarnishes. Um, there's a brand called 1928. Um, Sarah Coventry. It's just beautiful. The, the quality of their earrings. They were sold in malls back in the day. It's just beautiful beautiful. All right, let's have a look at this necklace. Beaded turquoise blue seed beads with glass beads for sure. Oh, they're so beautiful. Beautiful. Almost looks like sea glass, but it is not. I do have a magnificent piece of sea glass triple layer leg and look type necklace um, in my Poshmark closet right now. It's just gorgeous. I think it is red. So again, standard 18 inch, try, cold to touch. If you like those colors, you could hear them. Just beautiful glass beads. Alrighty. And we have about half a dozen left here. 
navy blue button earrings, or maybe they lend to purple, blue or purple. Um, when I when you see these backings, these plastic backings, that means I receive them. Um, I buy vintage jewelry lots in bulk, and then I that's how I'm able to sell them at such a good price, the buy one get one free. Um, and if they do not have backings, I buy a bunch of these backings from Amazon just to have a little bit of something. But you could use any backing you already have on them or use these, they, that's fine too. So those are button earrings, about a half inch in navy blue to purple. Oh, here we go. Those are blue. So is it blue? Darker blue than, than lapis. There we go. Lapis earrings, genuine lapis by J. King. And we got an empty bag there. Got another empty card. And when I get this jewelry, I use jewelry cleaner and I do clean each piece of jewelry, which is very time consuming. Um, putting them on the cards, taking the photographs. So I do feel like selling them. Most of the pairs are $15 in my Poshmark closet and that is buy one, get one free. So you're getting two pairs at $7.50 a piece for vintage earrings that no one else is gonna be wearing. Um, I feel like that's a fair price for the time and effort that I also put so I can make a little profit and give you guys a good deal. What else do we got? We have some stick earrings, I love these. Cat's eye navy blue glass beads with a silver stick. See how cool those are? Just, oh, very, very cool. I don't know, they just, I'm drawn to them. Um, I used to try to keep a pair out of each sh shipment of earrings that I get, but with 7,000 pairs listed right now, there's just no way. I think I own in my personal collection maybe, oh goodness, maybe 50 pairs of earrings, which seems like an awful lot for one person to own. But um, I do have 7,000 pairs listed. So these are really cute because these ones will never fall out of your ears. Um, I don't remember what these are called. Is it clam? If someone knows, please comment below. They Once they're in your ears, that's it. They have little tiny crystals and a black center that is cold to touch. I don't see any markings, but they are adorable. Very well made looking. Next, we have these little crystal numbers. We're talking maybe a half an inch. So they are considered studs because they're not gonna hang off your ear or wrap around your ear. Very demure and gorgeous. They shine like crazy. And these are silver and gold. All right, getting down there. We got this boho piece. This reminds me, again, barrel closure. And I feel like these are these were unisex in the 80s. I feel like rockers had them around their neck, like a bunch of them. Um, pictures of maybe Bon Jovi, or I don't know, unless I'm just thinking that and I don't know. But anyways, that's what it reminds me of. I don't know why, maybe I've seen photographs or something. Um, so a red little stone, little silver beads, and then these are just a cream ivory ivory two inch I would say so there we have that and we've got some turquoise like almost like a iridescent but glitter look to them they are cold to touch no markings brass I would say and they are one inch one and a half inch total very very pretty if you like that blue color gorgeous very striking and we're getting down there Okay, these I have listed on my eBay, um, sterling silver made in Mexico, and that is real turquoise with real sterling silver. They're really, really nice earrings. I think I have these listed actually for maybe 100, I think. Um, and I think I have two pairs identical. And they have the initial of the person, when I put them through Google Imaging, they, the person that I guess made sure that they were made correctly. I think, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, is that's the, this one says H, and I think the other ones that I have say R. I think that's what I read when I Google image, I could be wrong. So anyways, those were about an inch. All right, and at the end here, and I'm just gonna move this over so y'all can see what we have left here. Okay, so I have these little fabric earrings. They're like a mustard color, and they're button earrings, very vintage. I'm gonna say 80s for sure. I feel like maybe they were some buttons that maybe even fell, fell off of a favorite jacket and someone turned them into earrings, but they're so unique. Fabric gold, gold color. Oops, excuse me. All right, we have a, another necklace and this looks like Mother of Pearl. It's gorgeous. 
this. Oh my goodness. Yes. Mother of Pearl. And here we go. Clam hook clasp. And this is in my Poshmark closet currently. All Mother of Pearl. Gold tone. Very well made. Some weight to it. And let's see. Okay, so you can kind of see how it hangs. There we go. Adjustable chain. And what do we got here? A tiny little necklace. Oh, it's a little crown. A tiny little crown for a queen or a king. Just gorgeous. The, the, like your everyday piece that you leave on and don't take off or you just take it off before bed. Very cute. And here we go. These are silver with a little turquoise bead, about an inch long. That's what those look like. And here, we're just down to the nitty gritty here. So, we've got these, and they're tri-colored. They have copper, silver, and gold. So let's put them on their little card here together. And they are about two inches in length. And we've got one of these. Well ivory color, the kind that go on and, and never come off, or they say 9W, if anybody knows what 9W means. But they're the kind that stays in your ears. You know, you could run, you could jog, and they're not going to come off, so I think those are great. And let's see here. Hopefully we can find matches here. These are little stone. Um, actually, they, they feel like bone. I think they're bone. So these might be like a tribal bone earring. They're cold to touch as well. I'm trying to find the other one of these. Oh, here we go. Nope, that's not it. Oh, yes, that was it. With the purple and the red stone. We've already passed that one. Okay. Limestone. The cold to touch. Silver hoops. Here we go. Here's the one that I was looking for. These are the kind that... They hook on, you could wear them with just the stone or the backing, but this hooks on and this hangs underneath um, from behind your ear. They have a specific name that has escaped me, about one inch long. And let's see, we have the other silver star, which I need to find its mate. And we have, oh my goodness, beautiful. Okay, so we have these very antique vintage screw back earrings, but you see how it's like a heart shape? They're very unique. Lightweight gold mesh rose screw back earrings. These are so pretty. It kind of makes me want to wear them even though I have my ears pierced. So those. And down at the bottom we have some snowflake earrings. Silver, glittery snowflakes. Okay, blue and silver glitter. And we have, again, some of those ones that I just love. It's gunmetal this time with a purple stone dangling. And again, these are the kind, run, jump, skip, whatever. They're not coming out of your ears. They're gunmetal. Okay. Very cutesy. I don't know why these look like 70s earrings. I could be wrong, but the colors are kind of screaming late 60s, early 70s, flower child. I just picture the girl with the gold blonde long blonde hair, braided, and she's dancing in a meadow with these earrings on. <laughs> so those, and I guess we have a lot of them, and these ones are hard to put on the card, so I guess that's why they're loose. But when I do ship them, I do ship them in little bags. They're not just thrown any old way. So these are little silver teardrop minimalist earrings. Okay, and at the very end here, again, we have some little tiny blue and green with those type of hooks. And lastly, these shell earrings. And see, these have a very unique backing as well. Just like that. And then, not going anywhere. Look how beautiful those are. I think they're shells. They're about one inch in length. And they have crystals. And I'm going to guess this is the Cinnabon, or Cinnabar. Yes, it is. The, the very old Cinnabar earring. And... They, now, these do have some tarnish on the back. I mean, it's not going to, I don't know. They just look really, really old. They look antique to me. 
So I need to read up more. I know cinnabar was like hand carved. And I think that's it. That's it for um, all the earrings that I have stored in bin V. I should have started with A. I do have A to Z. And I don't know why I started with V. So anyways, if you've gotten this far, thank you for watching. And I appreciate it. Leave any comments be below if you know of anything um, that I didn't know about these. And I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.